All right, welcome back. Today I'm gonna go through um, my B tank setup here. Just my torches for brazing and um, soldering the yeah, copper lines here. So essentially, I'm gonna start off first with the um, the B tank here. So yeah, I've been using the turbo torch um, pretty much from the beginning. I've used the oxyacetylene torches before uh, when I first started, but turbo torch, yeah, it is a lot bigger flame, but I do like the, um, it's just a little bit quicker for me and it's easier just to, general, just to heat the general area. So yeah, essentially, yeah, these torches have been through a lot though, I mean, my gauge here has gotten crushed but uh so that's kind of hard to tell how full it is for the most part but other than that i haven't had any issues with it um they work really good also i've got my i keep one of these here service wrenches in in here and I like to use this to actually open and close the torch this valve here so it's actually got a little um, 3 16 chuck here that'll fit this valve perfectly so I keep one of those in there as well as just some monkey wrenches just in case you need to hold hold pipes while you're brazing or pull some um, pipes loose, some connections loose while you're while it's hot there. So you yeah, put that there. Got my um, soap bubbles. It's a big blue micro leak detector. I like using that. Yeah, those work pretty well. Got this here. This is the um, Igniter spark. Yep, and I just use that for lighting up the torches. Keep a rag. Also, I've got a flame retardant rag here that I use for just saturate it, and I just use this um, in areas that are really tight or put it in front of a surface that I'm not trying to burn up. It's a little bit close. Got my fire extinguisher here. I keep my silver here. And that's just the um, brazing rod here, number 15. I also like to um, keep my pipe swedging and flaring kit in this box. And don't get me wrong, um, yeah, I'll keep it in this box for the most part, because um, I'm mostly gonna need swedging whenever I'm using um, my torches, so. Very important, I have glasses, protective glasses. Um, so yeah, basically you wanna Definitely make sure you use these glasses at all times. I learn a hard lesson with these. Um, I actually burnt my eye one time with the braze rod. Going to put, actually, ironic enough, I was trying going to put the goggles on while I had the rod in my hand, and it swiped across my eye. So that was a pretty close call. Healed up fully, but it definitely made you understand the importance of um, goggles. And I just keep some of this here um, thermal trap in here, which is essentially just, um, I guess it's kind of like a paste. And you just put it on the surface of your brazing and it's supposed to essentially, I guess, help to remove the heat. So yeah, I like to use that along with, you know, a wet rag. Oh, 
I'll also keep um, some emery cloth here. So a little length of that. That's for cleaning the uh, copper um, before you're brazing. Then I like to keep um, this here inspection mirror. And that's just for inspecting after you've done a you braze. You, if you, it's a hard to reach area underneath the pipe or something, you just use that to inspect every crevice. Make sure you got no leaks. So I definitely use that every time. This here is just a cleaning brush. I guess it's got aluminum, just metal bristles there so you can use that to clean the copper as well also keep a crescent wrench in there just you know screwdriver and some um, these are just like old PVC cutters that I had around that I really just don't really use but I just keep them in here kind of for backup There's some fittings here, small lengths of copper. Let's keep scrap copper in there and a Sharpie pen in case you need to mark anything. And this here, oh yeah, also I've got a, a lighter just in case um, I lose my uh, sparker. And this bucket is basically just the old um, hydraulic bucket. And I got this here from Lowe's, this bucket um, tool pouch thing. It goes over your bucket. So it's worked really well. I've been using it for probably the last maybe two to three years and I like it. It's, um, you know, keeps all your stuff together a lot more convenient than those totes that you can only hold basically just a tor torch um, canister and a couple other small <coughs> items so that's pretty much it um, that's all the tools so yeah this is my B tank setup pretty straightforward kit um, yeah let me know if you have any anything similar in the comments and we'll catch you on the next one